Previously, I've covered how long it takes to farm standard Warframes locked behind RNG. Let's step it up now to the Prime Warframes and find out how long it takes to farm the ones currently in the drop tables. I'm the Engineer, let's solve a practical problem. For the sake of brevity, I won't be going into every possible mission time and the expected relics per hour. I'll give you some key figures, but you don't need me to spend the next 20 minutes reading out the results of a spreadsheet. To keep it simple, the details I'm presenting in this video will include a few assumptions or requirements to make it all work. Most importantly, I'm assuming you have the gear and the skills to be efficient. If you're using a partially ranked Excalibur and a basic bolt or there's no point in complaining about how long missions take. Your gear just needs work. So, let's have a look at the farms. There are three sets of Prime Warframes. New Primes, which are the seven frames which have never been vaulted. There's the Unvaulted Primes, the two Primes which have returned from the vault temporarily. And then there's the Railjack Primes, the two frames move from the vault into Railjack specific relics permanently. For Railjack frames, there are five relics in total. Due to how the missions and drop tables are set up, the Grenier missions are pretty much the best option when running a competent group. Earth will drop the Railjack Miso Relic, except for the missions over straight. Saturn drops the Railjack Lith Relic, with the best mission being Casio's Rest. And the Grenier Veil drops the Railjack Neo and Axie Relics, with the best option being any Grenier node without the Sentience on it. As for the unvaulted frames, there are always four relics in total. The Lith Relics can be farmed fastest from the capture mission Hepit in the Void. The Miso and Neo Relics can be farmed fastest from Ukko, a higher level capture mission also in the Void. And the Axie Relic can be farmed fastest from Tier 5 Open World Bounties. Despite Tier 5 Bounties being relatively long missions, they pay out the Unvaulted Relic much more rapidly than any Void mission, including Void Sabotage. If you can't play on the Open World, such as due to loading issues, Void Sabotage is your next best option, but it is a lot slower. And if you get bored of doing capture missions, you can do the Tier 3 and Tier 4 bounties for Miso and Neo Relics individually, which is a nearly comparable rate. However, Tier 2 bounties for Lith Relics simply aren't worth it compared to the capture mission. Finally then for the new Primes, they drop in more places, offering more choice, but the reality is that most choices are honestly just bad. Lith Relics once again should be farmed from Hepit, while Miso and Neo Relics should be farmed again through Ukko. If you don't need any more Miso Relics, you can instead do the Uranus Disruption mission, all four conduits each round, for near constant Neo Relics. But you do need to be very quick at running the mission. If you're hanging around waiting for the Demolisher to get to you, then you'll not compete with your speedrunning Ukko. As for Axie Relics, the fastest farm for these is the Apollo Disruption mission on Lua. Again, hunt down the demolishers to make the run as fast as possible. There's no point waiting for demolishers to come blow up a couple conduits just to avoid rotation C rewards, as you can just be clearing the rounds faster, more than making up for the occasional lost relic compared to rotation B. For each of these farms, the capture missions should be done solo, the railjack missions are best done in a pre-made group, whereas the open world bounties and disruption you can pretty much do as you please, although being in a group is usually a little bit faster. With this, you'll get to your relics as fast as possible, with the rates as shown here. Note that I'm just showing the specific relic drop rate, working on the assumption there's only one relic on the drop table you want. This is often not the case though, especially when you're farming Ukko for both Miso and Neo relics, so your actual gain towards the set you're working on can be a bit faster than it shows here. Alright, so you've done the missions to farm the relics from. In my previous video on relics, I covered how many you need to open to get a desired item. Doing this four times over for the four Warframe blueprints in a set helps to even out the highs and lows of bad luck or good luck. So taking into account the rarity and relics needed for each different set, as well as the ability to farm multiple parts of a set simultaneously sometimes, the results ending up looking like this for farming time. But these times are a bit misleading. You see, You'll get various prime parts along the way towards even getting the void traces just to refine the relics you're intending to use. So long as you're running in public fissures with full groups, other players may just end up bringing the relics you're opening, and you can get the item even sooner than these times suggest. There's no real way I can account for the chance of others bringing the relic you're looking for, 
and likewise I can't then combine that with the chance of actually getting the item want from that relic. There's just too many random pieces moving at once. But the truth is, you do get these parts from time to time. Another factor affecting these rates is that in farming for any given Prime Warframe, you'll also make progress towards other Primes by sheer virtue of the number of relics you're opening. This happens less often if you're farming in a dedicated group, as you'll get your desired item in fewer runs, but you'll still get some cross farming happening. This is completely different to normal Warframe grinds where if you fail to get the next piece you need, you don't get a chance at picking up a random other Warframe in the process. So in that regard, Prime Farming is less punishing. With that aside, where these times will be most accurate is when you're farming for new Warframes. This applies both to frames recently returned from the vault, as the majority of players won't have some of those parts already, and for new Prime Warframes recently released to the game, like Nidus Prime coming next week. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get Prime parts before the frame is actually released after all. When these new releases happen is when it's easiest to find a group running the same relic as you, and that'll allow you to get on top of the benefits of farming in a group. Overall then, if you're trying to farm a Prime Warframe without working with others, it'll usually take 4-8 to eight hours, depending on the sources of that Prime, for both new and unvaulted frames. For a frame like Ivara, where you can get every piece from just Lith or Miso Relics, it'll be a lot faster to farm compared to something like Neja, who currently has two rare parts, one only found in Neo and one only found in Axie Relics. If you are working in a group, you'll bring the farm time down to around 1.5 to 2 hours, not quite four times faster as you can't run a fraction of a relic. For particularly unlucky people, I'm talking fewer than 1 in 600, you'll be looking at 10 to 18 hours solo per frame, or 2.5 to 4.5 hours in a group. Again, not even accounting for random extra chances whilst you're trying to get void traces. There's no point considering anyone even more unlucky than this, because trading exists. Just sell what you've got along the way, and buy what you need at that point. The exception to this farming time are the Railjack Prime grinds. These grinds will take around twice as long for a given amount of luck, whether you're running group or solo, due to the much longer missions and not so generous drop tables. As a result, this means the longest farm for a Prime Warframe, out of those currently accessible, is Valkyr Prime. And once Nyx Prime returns to Railjack only, she'll take the top spot by a very small margin. But wait. There's one aspect I've skipped over here, leaving it until last, and that is the resources you need for the blueprints. For the majority of primes, the resource need to build them is honestly nothing to talk about. A few Oricon cells, some random basic resources you probably already have, it's no sweat. However, a few Warframes are not so kind. Necros Prime released with a total of 15,000 alloy plate and 12,000 polymer bundles required, among other resources, and that's no small amount to ask. Mirage Prime similarly needs 26,000 alloy plate and 2,000 cryotic. That's 20 full excavators, or 10 if you're running a resource booster. And if you think that's a lot, good luck with Trinity Prime, because she needs 950 oxium, which is just a bit tedious, and then 9,000 cryotic, over four times as much as Mirage. And then enter Vorban Prime. He needs 31,000 alloy plate, more than any other Warframe in the game. He also requires 7,000 Oxium, more than any other Foundry Blueprint in the entire game. And this is then on top of 9,000 Cryotic, equal to the Trinity Prime, yet adding on to this horror list of the other resources he needs. Honestly, I'm not going to try and add a farm time to this lot, because there's no way to stay fully effective farming those resources without burning yourself out. It's just a lot. Oh, and to top it all off, Vorban Prime takes a full 20 Nitane Extract as well. Thank goodness we have Nightwave for that stuff now. So while you can farm pretty much any Prime Warframe on the drop tables in a few hours with a group, even if you're a bit unlucky, Vorban Prime will definitely have you farming for a long while after. And for that alone, that makes Vorban Prime the longest Prime to farm. I do hope you have enjoyed this video, and now have a better understanding of how to get Prime Frames quickly and efficiently. I've shortcut a number of details researched for this video to keep it as brief as possible, so if you want to discuss this more, you can catch me over on Twitch, or if you want to get the details from behind the scenes, then check out my Patreon for the full links to them. 
Links to both of those pages are in the description of this video. That's all for now though, so as always, farm relics, get primes, and fight well Tenno.